Good morning, everybody. Movie Fan 2002 here, and it's time for me once again for me to react to this week's episode of My Little Pony Tell Your Tales. And this episode is called P plus P equals BFFs. Yeah, it's time for it. Yep, and this might be the and this is gonna be the last one I'm gonna be doing for a while, considering that I'm about to be going on a vacation to Europe pretty soon. So, yeah, we'll be we'll be away very soon. Also, and just and for those who are wondering, don't worry for this review. I, for this video, I will at least attach my thoughts on, um, on Furio, on my thoughts on Furio's at the end, just to at least show you guys what I thought of the movie, because, and believe me, I, I've been wanting to share with you guys my thoughts, but I got a bit busy with other stuff, as well as, like, preparing for the trip, and my brother's graduation, which is happening tomorrow, <laughs> but anyways, um, without further ado, I think we should quit wasting any time and get this thing started, shall we? Um, and hold on, I'm just gonna move these out of the way, sorry, it's just some clean laundry. Yeah, let's react to this week's episode of My Little Pony Tell Your Tale in three, in three, two, one. One for you. Okay, one day they're yours, armed. I'm sure. I don't know. I'm a rainbow brain. Is it good? I think it's that board, that carnival area they opened up in, like in that block. Right? I think it's short. Yes! What is happening? Is it some pony's birthday or something? This just in, these super stylish friendship bracelets are amazing! They certainly are stylish. Sorry, can somebody please tell me what is so special about these bracelets? Every pony who's any pony has one. You've got to get one, Posey. <laughs> Absolutely. Every time you go on a ride or play a game with a friend, new magical charms appear on them. See? Look at all my charms. <laughs> Have an extra charming day. Right. Let's see what's so special about this thing. I think because he's going on a ride with stuff like a plant. Oh, no. It's because he's going on a ride. He has to go on a ride with stuff like a plant. No. Give me a moment now. It's because he's. It's still technically there's no charms. That's probably well, right. I'll just try something else. Well, what would happen if there's too much? Oh. Are we posing not being the butt of jokes in this? Remember, you gotta do it with friends. Ah, uh, I get it. Pip Pussy's gonna, like, go with Pip because it's called P and, like, Pip is, like, the only, the only pony whose name starts with P in the group. This bracelet is broken. I want my money back. Hmm, it doesn't look broken, but I've been taking it on rides all afternoon and zero charms have appeared. I thought she had friends. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's the feeling of feeling left out. I get that feeling. I don't need a magic bracelet anyway. I got a dib. Some ponies say need a magic bracelet. What? No. Didn't you hear me before? It's broken. Actually, no, you're I don't think it is. You're just not using it right, Pose. The way you get charms is by doing fun things with your friends. They're friendship bracelets. Well, I haven't come here with any friends. So, well, I know one pony who would love to spend the day getting friendship charms with you, Posey. Oh, who's that? <laughs> <gasps> really? Come on, let's I... go explore the board draw together. Oh, they, they are friends. I didn't thought that.
think I remember the episode. See? Not so broken now, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Pip. Huh, nothing this bad. Is the huh, nothing bad happened. My love is getting some bait. I got it, Posey. Best of these forever! Damn it! She sure doesn't look like an odd point of reflection. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, this was a, a, another solid episode. Yes. I mean, yes, it's predictable. I mean, obviously, I mean, these are five minutes short, so you do know, like, how these sort of morals are going to go. But I did sort of like it, and I do get that feeling sometimes where I'm feeling left out. But I am making new friends, like, as I keep, keep going in life. I mean, that's the whole beauty of life, as things keep going. But yeah, this was still a pretty good episode. Anyways, so now I know what you're thinking. What were my thoughts on Furiosa, a.k.a. the new Mad Max film? A.k.a. the new Mad Max film that's doing not so well at the box office. Oh, God, why is it underperforming? I mean, it doesn't de deserve that. It doesn't deserve to underperform. It deserves to at least make a lot of money. Then again, this is how the box office has been, been doing this year, which, yeesh, even for, for movies that were much cheaper than the ones of last year. Well, I think I know why it hasn't been under. Well, okay, but, but that's what we're going to do. Anyways, as for my thoughts on the actual movie itself, I thought it was fantastic. Okay, sure, I don't think it's as good as Fury Okay, I don't think it's like as good as Fury Road. I mean, then again, that's a, comp that's a competition. To that's a hard task to reach. But it's better not to compare it to it, although this character start is pretty much the origins of the character in Furiosa. Yeah, the movie was awesome. Like... Like, um, like Anya Taylor Joy just did an amazing job as, as Furiosa, and definitely a fantastic successor to Charlie Theron in Fury Road. Chris Hemsworth was amazing as Dementis, and he just just delivered such a fantastic performance and just a fantastic villain. Um, yeah, definitely makes up for what he did with Thor: Love and Thunder. <laughs> more on that. More, I have some words on that when I do a when I do a Marvel sequel ranking in July for Deadpool and Wolverine. Anyways, but yeah, he did such a great job in this movie. Um, yeah, yeah, the action was fantastic. The production, the production designs look look amazing. Um, the set, um, the story was a lot more personal in comparison to the other films. And I, I think I already mentioned that the action was just fantastic. Not as great as Fury Road's action, but, which, again, that's an impossible task to reach, but still really thrilling to watch. I wasn't expecting some characters in Fu from Fury Road to actually like, make an appearance in this film. I mean, I figured that Immortal Joe was going to be in the movie, but I wasn't expecting him to have a much larger role as, as he did in Fury Road. But oh well, it does set up that film very well. Yeah, all in all, despite this movie underperforming, I was really gl I'm really glad that that I saw it and had a fantastic time with it. And I'm hoping more people do so. At least before uh, before other films come out very soon. I truly do hope so. Because, like, the box office is are in need... Because, like, movie theaters are in, def are in desperate need at the moment. But, yeah. Still. Still, I love the movie. love the movie. It was fantastic. Just another great addition to the Mad Max franchise. Without a doubt. Yeah. Anyways, that's gonna wrap, gonna wrap it up for this week's episode, this week's episode of Tell Your Tales Reaction. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the latest episode down below, and let me know what you guys thought of Furiosa down below in the comments. Stay tuned. Um, some I'll have a couple special top talents coming away. They won't be really big. One, they won't be long because they will be short just because of like the time meaning that I'm having. But especially with with the trip drawing near, but I'll still do. But they'll still be up pretty soon. But yeah, until those videos come, if you'd like to see part of this channel, all I have to do is click that subscribe button down below. Like this video if you really enjoyed it. And until next time, peace and take care.